Hey everybody, I have a RCA cable coming off of a, a speaker system. It's an older one. Alright, it's uh, hardwired in the back. There's no hookup or anything goes right inside and solders onto the board. So rather than replacing the whole thing, we're going to fix it. It's uh, got a broken wire right there, so Wolford does not work at, uh, like this. So uh, I want to show you how to fix this. We're going to solder it the proper way. And we're going to uh, put a coat of heat shrink underneath. So you get these from a uh, Radio Shack for a couple of bucks. All right. Um, you'll need uh, something to strip the wire, to cut the wire, to hold the wire. Uh, a hold uh, ashtray works good to catch the the solder as it falls. You're going to need some solder. Uh, I like some uh, that has uh, resin already in it. Uh, solder and iron uh, with a little sponge to clean it with. Okay. Now treat a solder iron like it's hot all the time, and you won't have a problem. All right, so uh, right, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut the uh, bad section out, if it'll cut. A uh, pair of dikes probably works better. I'm going to grab a pair of dikes up here. All right, we're going to cut, cut this out, cut that out. Now uh, we have a wire that has a black stripe on it. All right, so we want to pull these apart. Okay, I just use my nails to pull them apart. I'm going to cut back the one with the black wire, all right, to make it off centered. All right, so uh, we'll get that aside. We're going to take the other side. This is the side that has uh, that goes to the uh, to the actual speaker. All right, so we, sit, we cut back the black side over here, and if we uh, actually take this, all right, and hook up, we'll see. We need to cut some the other side off. All right, so we're going to cut about right there. All right, so that's about the same length. Now they're both about the same length, but they're off centered, so uh, so there's no contact whatsoever. So I'm going to bring this back. I'm going to take uh, wire strippers. Uh, we're going to guess at the gauge since we really don't know what the gauge is. I'm going to bring this down to probably uh, 18 gauge and see if I can actually strip it. Nope, uh, 20 gauge. And it doesn't uh, grab it, so it's actually probably a lot smaller than 20 gauge. So what I did is I twist it a little bit and get it off, and uh, and it works fine. I do the same thing with each one of these. Okay, so we we grab it, we twist it a little bit, and pull it off. All right, that's how you can cheat the gauge. Okay, now uh, uh, you don't you don't really want to twist it too much. Uh, leaving it out just like that's just fine. Okay, I like uh, twisting just the ends. All right, because uh, you don't want them to to uh, do anything. We're going to put some. We're going to tint these first. So the first thing you do on both these wires is tint them, and then we're gonna, we have to remember to put our heat shrink on. Now I have um, uh, I have three different heat shrinks here. You can look at the tubes of these and find out which one's bigger. All right, uh, there's a lot of gauges that's on the package. Uh, and they really get quite fat, all right, so we don't need this. There's actually another one inside this, all right, that's uh, kind of small. So what we want to do is uh, we're going to put a heat shrink on one of these, leave the other one just soldered, put a sleeve over the whole thing. So I'm going to put this over one of these and shrink it down. So that's uh, the black's probably going to be it. So I'm going to set that aside. I may just go ahead and do both of them. It uh, really depends what goes on here. So I'm going to take a look at which one is actually the biggest one here. And uh, blue and black look uh, almost the same. Um, red is here. That's okay. It looks like I'm not sure which one of these is actually bigger. Here's white. They all, all basically look, look the same. But they're going to be too big for what I need. All right. So I'll just go through and look for, uh, look for look for which one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, tint these first. So we need to get our solder. All right. I'm going to use a pair of pliers over here because I don't want to burn my hands. I want to have the solder on the edge here. Take my iron. All right. We're going to uh, we're going to get the uh, solder burning. All right. If I can uh, set that down. Just get the iron hot. There we go. We know we know it's nice and hot. Being kind of a ventilated area. All right, and we want to transfer this uh, solder on to that. So I'm going to pull some solder out. Have it right there. All right, and Let's 
see it. When it transfers, it's going to turn that copper right into the silver look. See, there it is. All right, I like that to be all the way through, so just hold it and it runs all the way down. So that's tinted. We need to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, soldering these together. All right, I have them tacked together, but they have to be soldered the rest of the way. Uh, this this uh, takes a little maneuvering. You've got to be careful that the heat shrink you put on there, uh, I cut it in half so it'll fit on there, but you got to be able to squeeze those over these two when they're put together. So it's really difficult when you're uh, when you don't have a clamp to put these in and you're doing this yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the attempt to hold these while I'm soldering with a pair of needle nose. So and at the same time letting you see what goes on. So I'm going to go on the bottom and heat them and hopefully I can mesh them together when they melt. So I have contact. It'll get really shiny and kind of watery when uh, when they heat up. There we go. And they are together. I just meshed them together. Okay, uh, the heat shrink down. Okay, they are together. It looks kind of nasty, but you know what? It's going to work. Okay, let's slide, uh, slide this over. All right, that's covering both ends. We're going to take the heating iron and lightly go over it and under it to shrink it. We're not really touching it too much. We're just going around it to, to shrink it down. I don't have a hot air a, a gun that's going to shrink this on hand. So just be careful you don't burn it. We're shrinking it all the way down. It's going to hug it like a carpet and be the new insulation over that. So now that's not going to touch the other one. So now we, we have to solder these two together. Now it's up to you if you want to put this other one on. I need to rip back a little bit more. But you know something I didn't do? I didn't do the, the one that went over the whole thing. Um, that is okay. Uh, as long as we have uh, have this over both of them. Uh, we're going to, I originally wanted to put a big one right over both of them. But if we're going to insulate both of these, um, that's okay. Uh, typically if you're on an aircraft or something, you're, you're going to put one over the whole thing. If you're doing aircraft electri electricity. Alright, it just uh, reinforces it. So at the same respect, I'm going to take both of these, put these next to each other like this, and kind of clamp them together with my my, my uh, needle nose. Alright, move my heat shrink back far enough to where I don't um, shrink it down. Take my uh, solder and go right over it. And once once they heat up, like they're doing right now, and they'll blend together. And there you go. All right, and it's and they actually blend together. I let the, it dries, it cools down very fast. Put the heat gun away, and they're together. It's sticking up a little bit, but they are together. They have connection. Take your heat shrink, put it, slide it over. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. But since these are apart like this, all right, that's okay. Um, I have some electric tape around here that I saw. This is black rubber tape. You take a take a piece off. Okay, just rip it up. I like to the part that just got ripped. I have a smooth part. Put the part underneath that's just ripped. So angle it toward it at first. Put the wires together and go over that. So it hides the rip part and wrap it up. And you go about halfway down every time. So you're overlapping the tape, going halfway down all the time. You go over the insulation, and we could add some more if we need to. Okay, and there you go. Not as good as if I put a sleeve of insulation over, but it'll do just fine. Now to test it out, see if it works. I'm very confident it will. All right, here's uh, here's the repair that I did. It's going back of the uh, the stereo system. All right, uh, stereo system is on, and it goes in back right down here. All right, so I got a piece of paper in front of the speaker to see if it actually moves when it's on. So go ahead and kick the music on. Turn it up. There you go. <laughs> So let's take the paper was making that noise. That's some pretty good. There you go. So it's that uh, test is good. 
that's how you fix the wire, and it uh, was successful. All right, so subscribe and uh, see, see a lot more uh, pretty cool videos. Bye.